What's going on, peoples? Cyrus Ortega here with Ortega Outings. I'm out and about after a two-year hiatus due to uh, medical stuff. And in case you're wondering what the medical stuff was, I got a new leg. Lost the old one. I'm trying to angle it here. Lost the old one. Got a new one. Lots of recovery and learning to walk on a prosthetic leg. So I didn't feel safe, but I feel pretty much safe right now. So I'm out, I'm out here beginning my outings again, where I left off trains. And I'm over here in Handley, Iterville, section of Fort Worth. I'm gonna title this video, What Can I Find in My Hood? It's not my hood anymore. I live in Azle, Texas, but Fort Worth, pretty much in the, my hood and my heart. So I'm over here finding some cool stuff. First of all, old buildings. Old buildings, cars. And I'm finding this little place over here that's got a caboose, a Union Pacific caboose. Now, if, hopefully this will not happen, but if you see the camera doing this thing, but much faster, that means I fell. Hopefully that won't happen. I've got my tripod pretty much extended to where I'm kind of, if I need to, using it like a cane. Otherwise, I am walking on my own. Praise the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to get up close to this thing. The sun's in my eyes, so... Alright. Union Pacific. That is meaningful right now because the Union Pacific Big Boy, the largest steam engine ever built, is on its way to Fort Worth. It should be here October 9th. I'm gonna try to do it. I already looked up on my GPS where it's gonna stop. And I'll tell you the truth, I'm not really liking the stop. Because when I went to check it out, I don't see where it's gonna be enough room for rail fans like me to actually park and get a good spot to record it. But, the mild obsessive compulsive nature I have mild not not big not big uh, if I don't try I'm gonna like kick myself in the butt and it's easier these days because I can take off my prosthetic leg and actually do it that's an amputee joke you can laugh if you want to that is a beautiful caboose I don't say that too much these days. I used to when I was younger and Cochino used to tell people, ooh, you got a nice caboose. Well, these days it's more innocent. I could say you got a nice caboose and really mean it because that's a caboose. That is pretty cool. I want to go to the other side, of course, to get, you know, a roundabout of the whole thing but that sun right there is in the way so I'm not sure if my capture is going to even be worth it so y'all get the caboose of the caboose zoom in on here It amazes me, let me put my hoof right here, that that big old thing 
is on these rails with that little flange. Now we've heard of uh, derailments. We've seen derailments. It's a wonder why there's not any more derailments. Not that I want that. Do not want that. Safe travels. I like riding trains whenever I can. But it just amazes me. That flange. Henley Itterville. That's my blessing right there. Hanley Edinburgh is a pretty nice looking town. I like the buildings over here too. Nice older buildings. Not like downtown Fort Worth and not like downtown Grand Prairie, but not Grand Prairie. I always say that. Grapevine. You and Grapevine's my favorite town. You'd think that I would remember that. Always saying Grand Prairie. I don't know why. See, sun right there. I'm trying to walk over here to where the stairs are at. I'm learning the stairs right now. Getting better at it. And I owe it all to the Lord Jesus Christ to Gave me my second chance at life because I almost died. Bacterial infection. Got an ulcer on my foot. But since my blood was full of bacteria, I mean, uh, yeah, there was no saving that. And I almost died. Doctors told me they weren't sure if they were just going to make me comfortable. But the Lord had other plans. Gave, gave me a second shot. Somebody forgot to take out the trash. I'm about to make a cheesy joke right here. I'm not a dad, but a cheesy dad joke. See those bulls? This is bull that somebody forgot to take the trash out. <laughs> that was dumb, dad joke. You don't have to laugh at that. All right, let's see if I can go up these steps while holding a tripod. All right. If you uh, experience a curve per clump, it's because I'm using it as a cane. Yep, so far so good. This makes me feel good because whenever I go to ride a train again, I'm happy that I can get up on the steps. Just people just gonna have to be patient with me because I'm slow. Okay, I'm to set my tripod down a little bit so I can hold on to the rails. success when you're a recent amputee those can scare you but at least it's not like this side where there ain't no help so there I'm on top of the caboose the caboose the little wheel right here I'm not even gonna pretend to know what that's about but I like it because it's part of the caboose Wish I could go inside, but it's locked, and I don't know if they give tours or not. This caboose is just sitting over here. There's my shadow. It's just sitting over here on display. But they don't got it roped off or chained off. So I'm assuming it's okay that I climb up here. Alright. Okay, so like I said, this video is entitled, What Can I Find in My Hood? I guess I'm going to go try to find something else. <laughs>